Welcome back to Pop Up Tech Talks. I'm your host, Mike Turner, here at NetApp Insight 2017 with John. Please introduce yourself. John Woodall, Vipes President, yeah. Engineering, Integrated Archive Systems. Thanks for being with me here. So we're talking a little bit about the general session, some of the cool stuff you're yep. seeing. Tell me more about the, the coolest things you've seen so far at the conference. Okay, as we were talking earlier, if you were going to do mic drops, today's general session had so many mic drop moments, yeah. I, we're going to run out of microphones. It, it, you know, um, I've been around NetApp for a long time as a customer and a partner. Anthony Lai's demo and discussion at the very end, who'd have thought that a cloud could, you know, you, uh, a storage company, NetApp, would provision VMs and applications across multiple clouds. Where's the storage in that? But NetApp has done what they're asking the customer to do. What the customer wants to do is to transform their business. NetApp has done it. The, the rate and pace of innovation has increased tremendously. I was in a session yesterday in a smaller group with George Curian, and in, the, uh, in his session, he talked about when he started at NetApp, ONTAP was being released every two years. Now, on, ONTAP is being released into the cloud every month. So that acceleration of innovation, we're just now starting to see the fruit of that. In just one general session, we talked about ONTAP 9.3, Storage Grid Web Scale 11.0, the Azure partnership, um, HCI and uh, Element OS 10, uh, cloud orchestrator, and there's probably more that I'm forgetting, and there's more tomorrow. It's oh, it, unbelievable what's happening. 24x acceleration, usually a good thing, means you're bringing more to market, right? Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. Any other mic? What, so that's where we're at. That's yep. the current stage of things. All the mic drops. What are we going to mic drops next time this year? What do you see? Uh, more artificial intelligence, cognitive learning, uh, and computing, because one of the things I forgot, another mic drop moment, Elio with Watson, yeah. right? How, do, how does NetApp enhance its customer experience and its efficiency in its business through artificial intelligence? Doing it now, uh, and more to come. So we'll see more in that space. We'll continue to see performance and all the things you'd expect. We're going to see the data fabric extend to non-NetApp assets and endpoints at some point. No roadmap predictions there, but it's a natural extension and a data fabric has to have intelligence, it has to have policy, it has that, it has to simplify operations. It does that today and it has to be extensible. It already does extend into the cloud. At some point it's going to extend to non-NetApp assets and when customers have that option, even as non-NetApp customers to be able to take advantage of and participate in a data fabric will help them transform their businesses, become more data driven, almost a data visionary, but it takes a data visionary to be data, vi data driven, that, 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 right? It's going to be amazing because you can teach an old storage dog a new trick. Saw that today, expect more of the same. Fantastic news. One more question for you before I let you go. If you had the choice, would you rather be Batman or Superman and why? Oh, Batman has got a better car. Can't fault him there. Nope. Which, which Batmobile is your favorite? Oh, the latest one. Okay. Yeah. The Whatever Tumblr. The Tumblr. That's a cool yeah. one. All right. Thanks for being on the show, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Pop Up Tech Talks. Yeah. <laughs>